Forget lions, tigers, and bears. Close your eyes. Imagine a world before humans, where shadows stretched long and the ground shook with the tread of creatures older than time. These weren't house kits you could cuddle on the couch. These were titans, slayers sculpted from bone and muscle, with teeth like daggers and eyes that burned like embers. They were the top five, the kings of the prehistoric jungle. Five apex predators ruled with claws and cunning, each deadlier than the last. From the towering terror that stalked the Ice Age plains to the nightmare with teeth longer than your arm, this is their story. We will start with the giant cheetah. The giant cheetah was in the same group as the current cheetah and possibly looked a lot like it, but it was much bigger. It weighed about 120 to 150 kilograms, which is the same as an African cougar, and it could hunt bigger animals than we can today. Even though the giant cheetah was designed to run quickly, some people don't think it could run as fast as a current cheetah because it was larger, which may have made it a little slower. Some people think that the giant cheetah, which had longer legs and a bigger heart and lungs, might have been able to run as fast as or faster than a modern cheetah. That's over 115 kilometers per hour. During the Pliocene and Pleistocene eras, the giant cheetah lived in Europe and Asia, from Germany and France to India and China. It died out during the last ice age. The giant cheetah may have had longer fur and a lighter color because it lived in colder places than modern cheetahs do. Now we will discuss Xenosmilus. Like the famous saber-toothed tiger smell of it, Xenosmilus had short, thick teeth instead of long, blade-like claws. Not only did its canines have sharp tips that could cut through skin, but all of its teeth did. They looked more like the teeth of a shark or a carnivorous dinosaur than like cat's teeth today. Xenosmelis didn't have to choke on its food like cats do now. Instead, it just had to bite off a big piece of meat and wait for the animal to bleed to death. Any big cat you might see at the zoo would look much cleaner and less bloody after a Xenosmelis kill. Xenosmelis weighed between 180 and 230 kilograms, which is a lot for a cat today. It was about the size of most grown male lions and tigers, but it was much stronger, with shorter, stronger legs and a very strong neck. In Florida, the bones of this cat have been found along with those of big ancient peccaries, which it seems to like to eat. No one knows for sure when it went extinct. It lived during the Pleistocene. It's also unknown if it ever met people. Next on our list is Homotherium. Homotherium, which is also called the Simner cat, was one of the most famous cats in ancient times. It was found in Europe, Asia, Africa, North and South America, and Egypt. It did well in a lot of different environments, even the subarctic steppe, and lived for 5 million years before going extinct 10,000 years ago. Homotherium seemed to be a pack hunter because it was able to run quickly and was mostly active during the day to avoid competing with other predators that came out at night. It looked a bit like a hyena because its front legs were very long and its back legs were shorter. Homotherium isn't known for being very big, but fossils of a similar cat that were recently found in the North Sea show that they may have been bigger than current Siberian tigers weighing up to 400 kilograms. If you want to know what these huge cats that hunted in packs ate, some paleontologists think they were very good at hunting mammoths. They could, however, chase after fast-moving animals as well because they could run very fast. Lastly, we will talk about American lion. The American lion, also known as Panthera atrox, is possibly the most well-known prehistoric cat after Smilodon. It existed in both North and South America throughout the Pleistocene period, from Alaska to Peru, and died out 11,000 years ago, at the conclusion of the last ice age. Most biologists think that the American lion was a massive cousin of current lions, maybe even belonging to the same species. Others, however, remain skeptical, claiming that the American lion, although closely related to the lion, was a unique species with a distinct appearance. Recently, it was thought that the American lion was more like the jaguar. One thing is certain, the American lion was the biggest cat in North America during the Ice Age, weighing up to 470 kilograms, or even 500 kilograms, and capable of taking on very huge prey. Thanks for tuning in to our exploration of prehistoric wild cats. If you enjoyed this journey through time and learned something new about these fascinating creatures, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content.